There's nothing here it, it, that's offensive. Yeah. It does what it does, it doesn't it, really. It can take some water, it's... It, it ticks all the boxes, really. Exactly. Hi. Hey. And welcome to Booze Reviews. I'm Chris. I'm Adrian. And today we are going through a, the Glenfiddich collection. Yeah, it's actually the Family Distillers collection. Three different types of uh, whiskey, single malts, mm -hmm. different ages, different maturity types. Yeah, different processing methods really. So, yeah. yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how they fare up. Yeah, how they compare. Yeah. Do we like them or not? Yeah. We, our first, well, one second review was of the signature malt, the 12 year old. We've done that before, yep. but we're going to do it in comparison to the others they have in there. So, yeah, so you can see how, it, how they line up against each other. Yeah, at least and what we thought. Yeah, indeed. And you know, give the uh, 12 year old another chance to impress us or not. Or not, yes. Yeah, <laughs> we, we've tasted a few more <laughs> since then, and we've yep. changed our opinions on some others here and there. And we're going to go through a couple of them again. At some yeah. Point. But, yeah. Because we think our taste buds have, if not matured, changed perhaps. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. just a bit. So, yeah. Our understanding of the complexities have improved or matured or changed or become more complex. And yeah, yeah. We're learning. We're learning with you. And uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's a journey. It's yeah. a journey. We don't know <laughs> where we're going, but it's a journey. <laughs> it's going to have a lot of fun. Anyway, exactly. So, so let's get going with a bit of a taste test and all that monarchy. Yeah. 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 Well, 15 year old, it's a Solera vat. Yeah. Right, straight from the blurb, straight off the back of the packet. Right, a unique Solera vat, a large wooden tun, marries mm. whiskies matured in cherry, bourbon, and new oak cast. Absolutely. To create a delicious, rich, harmonious, and intense single malt scotch whiskey. Very long sentence. <laughs> with complex notes and honey of honey and raisins. Honey. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's have a bit of a smell first, rather than taste. That I said earlier, but hey. Yeah, you don't know that. I'm <laughs> eager. <laughs> exactly. Let's get in there. Gasping. Okay. Mmm. That's right. Mmm. Very pleasant. Yes. Yeah, it's got that sweetness to it. It's molasses. Bit of Christmas cake. Yeah. Yeah. Get the, the raisiny, honey kind of. Yeah. But see what they do with that. Mm. Yeah. For our English viewers, reminds me of that the smell of crunchy, the, the chocolate, Cadbury's chocolate crunchy. Oh, that honeycomb. Nice, nice, nice. No, when you break yeah. it, it's got that little effervescent kind of. Yeah. It's got a bit of that, it's that kind of sweetness. Yeah, very, yeah. I understand the honey tones, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, very pleasant on the nose. Good, 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 good. Yeah, like that. Very pleasant. It's not the type that kind of knocks your teeth out, it's yeah. completely palatable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, the, that initial kick says, yeah. It's strong, but not super strong, and uh, that that strength sort of peters away nice and quickly, and leaves you with a nice, warm, pleasant taste. Yeah, it's got that kind of peppery yeah. finish, you know. It's got a very smooth, yeah, yeah, nice yeah. kind of chocolatey, bit chocolatey, bit smooth, with a bit of pepper, a bit of fire, and you can feel it going down. It's, it's nice, but it's not. <clears throat> What's that? Yes, Drinking exactly. hard alcohol. Exactly. Need to drown it immediately. It's yeah, quite nice. It's quite nice. And the after the sort of aftertaste that, that lingers after everything else has left the building is mm. yeah. Not unpleasant. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. Not the finish it. just lingers on for a little bit. Yeah. It mm. doesn't leave you immediately, it gives you a nice yeah. long gives, satisfying gives you a nice, sweet. Yeah, a nice hug goodbye. Yeah. Mm. You know? Doesn't just roll off immediately, just kind mm. of stays there. Yeah. Yeah, very sweet. It's quite like that. Yeah, nice. When we do our water, um, depending on how much time we have, we we would leave it to settle for a bit. Sometimes we cover it. Yeah. Other times we'll just add and go. It depends on 
our process, whether it can really take it. This one, yeah, it's fine. Doesn't seem to change a great deal after yeah. itself, so we're just gonna get it down. Yeah, much smoother. Mm. The pepperiness is definitely tamped down, but the sweetness is still there. Mm. In fact, I'd say the pepperiness is more sustained, but the lower volume, but it lasts longer. Mm -hmm. It's really quite nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's almost like yeah, the kind of change of volume, change of time. It's just yeah, it doesn't change it markedly. It, exactly. But I wouldn't want to add too much water to it. Yeah, it's still the same session band, but the music they're playing is just a bit more stretched out. Mm -hmm. You know, it's yeah. But um. Mm. During our earlier tastes, um, I did add a bit more water, so I'm, I'm going to do just that. Okay. All right, here we are. Yep. Uh, so, so I've added a couple more. Yep, so three in total. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just teaspoons, not a great deal. Yep. It's amazing how much it changes it. That is really quite pleasant, actually. Mm. At, at the first one, first. Mm. Teaspoon, I wouldn't have expected it to be able to handle anymore, no. but it copes very well. This has now become an all day drink. Yeah. With three teaspoons, you could, yeah, just sit this all day and feel, yeah, it's yeah, nice. It, it, if yeah. you like a nice wheat whiskey, mm. this is it. This is one that you water down yeah. quite sufficiently. You know, it's kind of a summer drink. It's very, very pleasant with a bit of water in it. Yeah. Dare I say, maybe ice. You know, it's it's mouth, yeah. No, this it, it, this will probably hold this. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna miss. Especially then you'd have the contrast where it's quite neat when you start, and it just gradually becomes more mellow as you get indeed get down the glass. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Bar drink, definitely. This yeah. will be, you're waiting for someone. Yeah, yeah. this will be. This is the connoisseur's choice if you're just waiting for a bar at the bar and you're not after anything particularly outrageous, you know. Yeah. If they've got a Glen Physics 15, you go, oh, ah, yeah, 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 I'll take, yeah, I'll take a 15. And it's probably not going to be a, a ball bursting amount different to in price to the 12 or the 4, you know? So, no. Oh, yeah. 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 The 14. Right, so the 14 is a rich oak. And if you excuse me while I read the blurb, it says it's a unique single malt matured in oak casks. Uh, for 14 years and being finished for up to 12 weeks in virgin American and European casks. So that's an interesting way of finishing it and which perhaps gives it that rich oak that they're referring to. Mm -hmm. so, uh, it has an exquisitely rich and complex harmony of creamy vanilla, oak spice and uh, ripe summer fruit flavours. So it should be an interesting thing to behold. 14 year old, let's see what it smells like. Yeah. yeah. It's very light. Yeah. It doesn't have a very strong nose. Not, not, not really. What's there is floral. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking maybe roses, something like that. Definitely sweet. Hmm. I almost goes without saying, but there's a bit of it, I suppose you've got to say it. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Got a bit of, um, maybe a little bit of honey, mm. but yeah, it, it's definitely got a nice, sweet, very pleasant, not a rough alcohol yeah. burning, yeah. take the hairs off your nose smell. Really it's shiny, very, isn't it? it it's, it's nice, it's inoffensive. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, we'll go for a bit of a taste. Yeah, let's do it. We're feeling that. Quite like that. Mmm. That's very good. Tastes slightly thicker than the 15. Would you say buttery? Yeah. yeah. Nice buttery. Mm. Still very sweet. Mmm. Tastes a bit more of the kind of honey, but. Yeah, definitely. Mm. And not so much pepper, just a, just a, the merest hint of it. That's more on the aftertaste, yeah. that's more on the finish. Yeah. But the initial tasting, it's got that kind of 
sweet kind of, mm. I'm trying to place it, I can't quite taste it, but it's definitely smooth and nice in the initial tasting. And as it transitions through towards the, the finish, that's when you get a kind of peppery kick. Yep, got that like Yeah. But then it's a nice gentle slope off again. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice little journey mm. and it, it does sustain itself mm. for a while. It's a very pleasant taste. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Rich. Got a bit of fruity going on there, but... I'd say something like apricots or something. Mm. Mm. Yes, the the the, the pleasure I'm left with. There's something summer fruity about it, but I wouldn't say it would be the kind of red fruits. Mm. I'm, I'm thinking more the kind of yellowy pl yellow plums, okay. apricots, mm. and, and there's an underlying peaches, no. an underlying vanilla, there's an underlying vanilla there. I've got there as well. So mm -hmm. yeah, 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 very very agreeable. Yeah, so. Uh, and very <coughs> worryingly, very drinkable neat. Yeah, yeah. Th yeah. This will go down really quickly. Yeah. But I, I can tell by the kind of peppery aftertaste, it could, if if you're so inclined, it could work with some water. Mm. I'll say even more than the fifteen. This is more of a everyday drinker. Mm. Yes. That, that fruity, the pepper has slightly amplified in, in some way in that it comes in perhaps in the same time but it lasts, it stays with you a little longer. Mm. Mm. And the fruity notes, yeah. the, the light notes, the kind of sweet notes last a little longer and it's, mm. they call it more intense, it isn't like it's more empowering, yes. more empowering. it's just, there's more of it. Yes. It's, it's it's stretched out. It's stretched out long enough for you to discern the different stages that it presents, uh, and definitely smoother, more mm. creamy, more butter, more yeah. softness. Yes, and then the pepper. It's silky. This one comes in mm. nice and easy, and just lingers. Just lingers there. It mm. draws out the the, the finish much mm. longer. Yeah, definitely. And it says, nicely balanced on the sweet scale. It's never too sweet. It's never bitter. It is just, just right. It's just, mmm. Mm. Yeah, and even after it gets to the aftertaste, you're thinking, well, some of them go bitter. This one stays in that nice zone. It's uh, Yeah, and that's after just one simple teaspoon of water. Yeah. Yes, I suspect. Couple more. Yeah, let's see if we can drown it. It's now smelling rough or strange enough. Yes, I think we might have gone over the limit. Hmm. With one teaspoon, the the the, the nose opened up some. Mm -hmm. Now it's now I'm not sure. Yeah, we've we gone past it. We may have we may have overshot the mark. Mm. Top tip. Not three teaspoons. What I would say, if we come across it like this, mm -hmm. I don't think it would be that bad. No. But because we've kind of graduated down, yeah. where we've had one teaspoon, mm -hmm. it's definitely better balanced than it is here. Yes, yes. It's not horrendously balanced, it's, it's not terrible, but yeah, one is definitely better than here. What? Yes, exactly. I wouldn't advise ice with this. Mm, yeah, the 15 holes better with the ice. This yeah. one less so. I think, yeah, yeah, if you've added ice, you'd want to get into it before too yeah. much of the ice melted. Exactly. Yeah, yeah one cube hops yeah. anymore, and it then becomes a sorry mess. Yeah. I'd say once you've gone over the limit on the water, the aftertaste does get a hint of bitterness to it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's almost like it's the smoothie, milky butteriness is it's a lot more there, but yeah. it's shorter, and then you've got the bitter aftertaste, which is more intense, yeah. which is a problem, and it overrides it. Yeah, and, so, and of course, the one thing you don't want to be left with is is bitter, really. That, that. Yeah, yeah, that's not 
as I set you up for the next one, you go, what's life next once you've finished it? You go, mm, another one? Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, which is a shame because it is a very tasty whiskey. Yeah, it yeah. is. We just overshot the mark here. Yeah, with water. Yeah, yeah see, I, I came this one. It's still drinkable, as I said, but because one, one spoon is better. Yes. This is the 12 year old signature malt by Glenfiddich. Our revisit of our second booze review. Yes. Yeah, hopefully you can see us a lot better than you could on that occasion. And not as much noise on the video either. Yeah, not clearer. Hint, a hint of noise. <laughs> but that set, yeah. right? We've gone back. So there's been again. some bit of re-evaluation. Exactly. Full yeah. disclosure. Yeah, full disclosure. <laughs> right? Um, we've kind of retasted all of them. Exactly. Essentially yeah. off that top four, that yeah. first four. And um, we've actually decided that, you know, the Glen Finish 12 Hi. will be our benchmark. Yes. The, the palette initialiser, shall we say. Yes. Yeah. It's, you know, it's where what we taste first before we do a review. Exactly. In order to get in the same zone as we were for every other review. So, yeah. yeah. It standardises our taste buds. We might have had something to eat during the day, or yeah. you know, it doesn't matter. But have one of these, a little tickle of this. Yep. We know where we are. Exactly. So, it, so we're going to go back and do another re evaluate, uh, another evaluation mm -hmm. of the twelve to give you a maybe a fairer. Yes. Yes. So if you were wondering, is twelve for me? I'm not sure after that first review. Yeah. Stick around. These guys really stated it. Yeah. And we went on and on and on. It will not be that long, I promise you. Yeah. But yeah. that's my waffle done. I know you guys don't want to hear from me. You want to hear from me. Ha! Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I'll... Over to, okay, so this is the signature malt, as you uh, may well know already, because it's a very common one. You often see it in the bars. Everywhere we'll sell Glenfiddich. It is that kind of tipple. Uh, yeah. The box says, the shops, yeah. Yeah, the box says it is a pioneering single malt that has been matured in the finest all Russo sherry and bourbon casks before being married together in an oak tun. So that's uh, an interesting way of uh, doing things, but that's what gives Gunfish 12 its unique characteristics. Yeah. Uh, it apparently is a beautifully balanced nose with and refreshingly rich uh, complex notes um, of fresh pear and subtle oak. So let's dive in and yeah. see what our noses think. I'm sure most of the viewers are very familiar with this one. No exactly. surprise, let's get tuck in. Very fruity, very pleasant, quite sweet. Yeah. Got your caramels, got your sherry, hint of toffee. It's all there, butterscotchy. Mm. Yeah, sweet. No, it's that whole caramelly, so it's basically everything from caramel all the way up to fudge. Yeah. It's got that whole sweety, it's not quite molasses sweet. No, no, no. But we're not. We're not venturing into the wrong scale. Brown sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very, very pleasant. Yeah. Very approachable. Yeah. Certainly not scary. It is really very sweet. It's very, very pleasant. Yeah. It just rolls very in there. Natural. Very little pepper. Mhm. Mm no, um, it, it it's actually a very pleasant whiskey. Yeah. The only thing that lets it down, perhaps, is the fact that that lovely set of flavours doesn't stay around very long in your mouth. Yes. Yeah. Well, now know. it's it's, it's gone. Out. Yeah. Whereas yeah. With some of the others, the fourteen and fifteen, yeah. they combine the peppery and sweetness yeah. and the bit of fire and how they had the length of time they had it going on. Mm. Yes, yeah. now it's. Okay, that was nice. It was nice, but it's gone. Yeah, it was it gone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's so it, it's not a rewarding drink to drink neat because that flavour goes far too quickly. Yeah. Whereas it's the fourteen, the fifteen, neat works because mm -hmm. they they hold that for longer. So yeah. It just doesn't even taste very strong. 
And I guess mm. as a kind of a starter into single malts, it's probably one of the most approachable, I would say, the availability is there. No? Yes. Most people will probably try this out and say, oh yeah, I'm going to be brave and go for a single malt, you probably try this one. Yep. And... Yeah, yeah, it's a good introduction for getting getting your toes wet. But is it really? It, it's well, how how much different from your standard Bell's blended? Mm. Um, it, it's it's not much of a step up. It's not that diametrically different. No, well, we yeah. say this is why people prefer single malts to your standard blend. Yeah, I'd imagine though that. I'd like to think that your your head in the morning is going to be in a, a slightly better shape on this than on Bell's. Possibly. It's not perhaps enough of a jump, perhaps, for no. to, to justify itself as an entry level single malt. I would prefer, and this is again coming from a different direction, mm. someone who has drunk a fair bit. I wouldn't go for this one. However, if I was out on a night out, mm -hmm. yeah, I. I if there's nothing else, I don't know if I'm just a drink here and there, and you walk into the bar and you want a drink, and it's like, ah, what's well, I'm hungry. Uh, all right, then, yeah, yeah. I'll go for the Glen 12. Yeah, yeah. Glen 12. Yeah. Uh, all right, then. Yeah. It, of all the whiskies that you see in the bar, yeah, it wouldn't be the one I would go for, but it might be the one I'd go for if I was panicked. Uh, pick, pick something, where have your shorts? Uh, uh, yeah, Glen? Sure, whiskey. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, in fact, and it's a safe short to go for in that particular case yeah. because as a panic short, it, you, you'll be in, in, in a good place. Yeah, as a shot, that'll probably go down quite well. There's enough, even though the pepperiness is very small, there's enough there to give you that... <coughs> <coughs> yeah, that, yeah, that, that, that was uh, like a... Yes. Or, or we, nowhere near some of the kind of madness that you get from Sambuca or something like that. No, no, it's not, it's not trying to drag you outside and... and break you, you know, it's, it's reasonable. Better with water, definitely better with water. Hangs around a bit. Yeah, it yeah. definitely enhances the, the, the sweetness and the butt, well no, it's not much butter, it's the toffiness, the, yeah, yeah. The, the, that butterscotch, that, yeah, it lengthens it. it, it, it I can still it taste out. it. Yeah, yeah, it's still going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's surprising. Nice. Yeah, it nice. really is. Yeah. No, I thought it was going to be, oh God, you know, you mm. put some water in it's going to be knackered. Yeah, it's just going to disappear. Yeah. Yeah. But, but no. Just a little bit of water. One is a winner. Would it take more? I, I doubt it. Mm. No, it's almost intensified everything. The butteriness is there at the beginning. Mm. Yeah, it's really nice. And, and then the pepper, yeah. yeah, and pepper, pepperiness is coming. See, there was pretty much no pepper there at all. Yeah. And now there's a little bit of pepper. Yeah, it, it is. It has shown a little bit more of itself. Yeah, I don't know how much more it has. It's no. not as bad as I thought. No, it's not as bad as I thought. But it was better with one. Yeah, it. What I, what I would say is more intense. Yeah, with one. Now, it, it, drop, now it drops off a cliff. Cliff again. Yeah, um, it there's it's just not enough that Yeah. I would repeat what I said about the fourteen. Had we come into this and not done one mm. and gone straight to two, I think we'll be quite happy with that because yeah. it's not terrible, it's not yep. rough, it's not bitter. No, no, it's not bitter. It still lingers a bit. Yeah. It's just no nowhere near as intense as the one yeah. and that was much nicer. Again, exactly. that's probably because we had it at full strength. So yeah. had we initially just Poured it, put a couple of waters in, exactly. drank it, that probably perfect. Probably. But yeah, yeah, I suppose it is where you come from or where you're going to. Yeah. So, but yeah, there we are. I still think it, has, it had more expression. Yeah, with uh, one. With one. And, uh, with the amount of whiskey that we had, yeah. one teaspoon was enough to really open it up, to really intensify all the exactly. flavors, to really bring out what was there. Exactly. It's. Yeah. It's not as bad as I thought it was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it really isn't. Yeah, exactly. So, um... There's a lot, uh, going, a lot more going on there than we initially thought. Yes, yes. It just, it just needed a, a, a tube palette. Yeah. Yeah. And a bit more understanding of what, what we were doing as well. 35, 36? Yeah, 36. 36. Yeah. 
But it's, it's not rubbish. No, exactly. I, and we, we've tasted worse now. Yeah. Yeah. So, 36, 36 from you, 36 from me, it's a 36er. Uh, 36. Yeah. yeah. Would, would, would you gift it? Gifted? That's the question, really, isn't it? It would depend. Yeah. Entirely on who. Yeah. If yeah. there's someone I know who regularly drank, um, you know, blended. Yeah. They normally have a, ble- a Bells or a, yeah. you know, something of that nature. Exactly. Yeah. If it was a insignificant birthday, you know, one to mm. twos or the threes or the eights <laughs> or the nines. Oh, you know, yeah. It's a bottle of that. I know you like whiskey. I don't know much about your whiskey habits. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. So, it's a safe bet. If yeah. someone says they like whiskey, they won't dislike this. They might like other things more. It's a um, yeah, yeah, exactly. It'll be. Yeah. I yeah, I will get round to drinking it eventually. Yeah. yeah. In fact, I will drink this with you. No problem at all. Yeah. I, will, I crack this one open. We'll share a glass. Yes. Yeah. We. You don't and, have to. And have... I'll put it back on the shelf. And yeah, you wouldn't need yeah. a, a world of knowledge to know a lot yeah. about the kind of sherry cask and anything like that. But yeah. Yeah, it's, exactly. it's it's just a nice whiskey. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's not as plain and ordinary as our first review um, mm-hmm. suggested. Yes. And that was because we were very new at the whole review reading process and we started off with a very, very strong um, Arbor Law Abana. Yeah, that, and that's very up to the apple cart. Indeed. And, and to come from Arbor Law Abana to this, you might as well have gone to water. It was really yeah, it So, was, yeah. yeah. But, but, but there we are. We yeah, live you know, there. cast strength. 50, or was it 62 or something? Something of that. Yeah, yeah down to 40. It, it was a yeah. complete mismatch yeah. and it was unfair. And that's why we will quite happily go back and, Absolutely. and do this. Yeah, so here we are. I reckon the 14 has got to be uh, uh, somewhere, somewhere in the region of, of 41. 41? Hmm. Oh, because I like the buttery. I like the fact that it's it's stretched out nicely with the one, oh. and I quite liked its presentation. I figured it. I think it was a hint tastier than the fifteen. Oh, well, high praise indeed. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, personally, I'm going to give it a flat forty. Oh, okay. Flat forty. I don't think it quite breaks into the forty-one, but okay. I did like it more. Than fifteen, especially with a, a bit of water, it's it's sweeter. I like sweeter things. It, it's definitely a more approachable. Mm-hmm. However, my palate has been changing over time, and I'm as yours will. Yeah. Yes. You know, and I'm graduating a bit away from the fourteen now. I really, I'm, I'm leaning towards the fifteen, but not quite there. Yeah. But yeah, it, I'm still quite happy with it. So I'll give it a solid forty. Okay, so I thought it is. Yeah. Okay. Gift. Defo. Defo. No Same problem at all. Yeah. I will gift this a day. I'll quite happily stand in a bar, drink it. I'll sit down in a hotel room, mm-hmm. drink it. I'll yeah. Anywhere. It all is, occasions. It is that rich oak. Is that kind of drink? Is I that get the idea that they called it rich oak before. It's got that kind of richness to it. It's that something about it. just it's that creaminess, isn't it? Yeah. That 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 kind of caramel that thing that goes with it. It's yeah. Yeah, well named. I think they yeah. got that one solid. Um, yeah, yeah, so going on to the 15, the Solera Vats. The Solera Vat, yes. No, you know, this might actually just be 39-40 border. Yeah, because, I mean, it, it, there's, there's nothing here it, it, that's offensive. Yeah. It does what it does, it does it, it really well. It can take a drowning. It can take some water. It's it, it ticks all the boxes, really. Exactly. I would say it's... 39 for me. 39? 39. Yeah, I think that's the first score. Yeah. 39 and 40. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm writing shit down. <laughs> <laughs> Reference. <with you. laughs> You're on 39 as well, though. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. 39, yeah. you know, I'll always go to 39 and a half, maybe a 40. Mm. But I'm, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it does its job. It stands up well. Yeah. Yeah. Would you gift it? Mmm. For sure, yes, this is giftable, and yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be well received. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, 
an expert or or no to oh to an oh, no, you, you know uh, not to somebody who's who considered themselves expert expert and they've got like a little collection a little collection because yeah maybe it's a bit too not complicated enough mm -hmm. but somebody who started out and they've perhaps tried a few of the 10 year olds and 12 and they're thinking well, yeah, they're quite sure whiskey, what to do next but they're not mm. really into the whiskey yeah. Right? Yeah. might yeah. just stick to the blends or something nice kind of birthday presents so I'm not too sure where their levels are it's a kind of good standard yeah exactly yeah. a good standard without being obvious because I think the 12 would be considered the the obvious choice for someone who knows quite, quite like whiskey you know yeah 14 and 15, very, very solid. Yeah, and they're close, 12, they're close together. Nice beginners, yeah. and I can see why they package all three together mm. to help you kind of work your way through. Yes. And hence, that's why we've got we've got the two different collections. We've got large yes. bottles and smaller, and they're free available all over the place, especially in the UK. I don't know what it's like overseas. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So, uh, happy hunting. If you yeah. can get all three together, then uh, by all means, yeah, try, try them out, out. Yeah. and leave us a comment and uh, tell us what you think.